Google Bard has transitioned into Gemini now and you can use it as your AI assistant for your phone. This is an experimental version and launched in US already. You may not find it for your country on the Google store, but you can still download it from APK Mirror and use it. A million dollar question is whether it is ready to replace Google Assistant or not. Let's find all the answers and see how it performs on my Google Pixel 7. By the way, it also works on all other Android phones as I have tried it with my OnePlus phone as well. But before that, please subscribe to help me grow this channel as it keeps me motivated to get amazing and exciting content for you in future. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So we are in Gemini homepage now where you can see all your recent search items and you can also enter your query or request anything by voice commands. This is the settings page where you can customize and set things based on your preference. And the most important one, here you can switch between your Google Assistant and Google Gemini by selecting any one of them. And for things like navigation and emails, it will use your Google Apps and will ask for your permission to connect to your Google Workspace. All right, we are all good to go now. All you gotta do is kick things off with the magic phrase, hey Google. So you've got options here. You can either talk and interact using your microphone icon or if typing is more your style, just hit that keyboard up. And hey, if you've got a cool pic you wanna share, snap it with the camera or maybe you can choose it from your gallery. It's pretty straightforward. Now, let's start by testing how well it understands images and objects within them. Simply navigate to your desired image and activate it with a quick phrase. Once done, you'll see the add the screen button, press it and the screen will be captured and attached. However, you'll need to tap the mic button again to continue searching your query. It would be great if it could seamlessly understand context and search accordingly without needing any manual intervention. Despite this, it handled the task pretty well, effortlessly identifying objects and providing accurate search results. This was a pretty simple one and moving on to the next image. The search results were spot on, detailing everything from the phone to the background color and even identifying my Pixel 7. But there are instances where it struggles to describe certain images, simply saying it's unable to identify them. What's interesting is that sometimes tweaking your instructions a bit can yield success. For example, while it couldn't identify the flower, it had no trouble when asked to identify the plant, providing all the details on Bougainvillea. Now let's look at some navigational capabilities. So you are out and about, maybe in an unfamiliar part of town, and suddenly you need to find a specific building. Could be a cafe, museum, or any random building. But instead of using Google Maps, snap a quick pic of the building and let Gemini do its thing. So just like that, you've got your answer without breaking a sweat. It was able to identify the building and also gave the exact address on the map. You can also find any good restaurants you're looking for and it will help you with additional information like name, ratings, and you can get the directions on the map to reach there. Next, any day if you're chilling at cafe or restaurant and you are curious to know everything about the dish you're having, you can give the simple instruction. Identify this dish and tell me the recipe. It doesn't just identify the dish, but it goes above and beyond by listing out every single ingredient. You can use this recipe and enjoy your meal. But the next thing is more interesting. We have played around with the images a lot. And now let's imagine, instruct and generate some images. Here are the results. I have tested it multiple times and sometimes it generates stunning photorealistic images and sometimes they are not as expected. You can click this to generate more if you didn't like the first bunch of images. Additionally, you can easily download or share these images as well. So here are some samples of images that I've generated using Gemini. Usually typing what you want is the best way to get exactly what you're looking for. If you're talking to it, you've got to talk pretty quick or you might not get what you want. Next, hey Google, generate an image for me with the text, subscribe to the channel and waterfall in the background. Sure, here is an image with the text, subscribe to the channel and a waterfall in the background. Imagine of a photorealistic image of a majestic waterfall cascading down a rocky... Next, you can do a lot of things with Gemini related to emails and articles. 
you can find or locate specific emails quickly by keywords, sender, date range, or attachment type. It is very hard to find emails sometimes and this saves you from all your troubles of manually digging into your mailbox. It filters out all the emails based on your instructions and you see the emails are categorized by the subject of the email. Also, if you want, you can directly access the complete email. Instead of reading it, you can ask to describe your email to provide concise summaries, capturing the key points and essential information contained within the message. So it doesn't stop here. Gemini can help you draft emails by suggesting phrasing, correcting grammar and ensuring your messages clear and concise. It gives you a template to start with and you can alter it accordingly. This is an outright useful feature, but it can't send these emails. You have to copy paste the edited stuff to post and send manually. So just like emails, you can also summarize articles. It can describe, summarize and read them for you. We were already able to do all this stuff by using different apps, but Gemini is kind of one stop solution for all your needs. Now let's get to all the basic stuff that Google Assistant has been doing for several years. You can do most of the on-device tasks through Google Gemini and it uses Google Assistant for the same. You can easily check the weather or the forecast in your city or anywhere in the world. Also, you can easily make calls, send messages and set alarms by just talking to it. It does most of those things, but still there are certain things missing. This brings us to not so good part of Google Gemini. Google Gemini is using the internet to process most of your requests and therefore it takes own sweet time to show the search results. It struggles with the sluggish performance and inaccurate results that you can't rely on sometimes. There are things and persons, objects it can't identify or describe. Google wouldn't have imagined I'd throw a tank towards Gemini in my testing, but it wasn't that complex for it to understand and that's a lesson. Also, it wasn't able to identify the camera correctly in this image and misinterpreted it with A6400. But when I used this other image as a reference where the display was flipped, it was able to identify the ZV-E10 camera and gave the correct description. Another problem here is that it doesn't activate sometimes and you have to try repeating two or three times to activate it. Further, it becomes more frustrating when it doesn't keep the context of your previous conversations, you always have to keep giving fresh instructions. And the most important part is that it is yet not able to do certain things that is a cakewalk for Google Assistant. And those are the simple things like setting your reminders or playing music. So the bottom line is that it is not yet ready to replace the Google Assistant. But still, it is a big leap towards the advancement in technology and Google Gemini has potential to revolutionize various fields and applications. In the end, I would say it was a fun ride for me to test Google Gemini as the assistant on my phone. And if you want more updates from me related to Google Gemini or comparisons with ChatGPT or Google Assistant, please subscribe to the channel. Till then, my name is Sushant. See you in the next video.